Uh, that was gone when I. It was mostly gone when we, uh. Yeah.
Vibe is once again live from Buffalo Ridge Park in Haltom City, Texas. Dan Byford here with you, bringing you a matchup between the North Crowley Panthers and the Haltom Buffaloes on the, or excuse me, not on the bump, but in the circle for the Buffaloes tonight. Once again, it's going to be more of the same. It's going to be Lindsay Oliver, who the last time we featured the Buffaloes on Vibe, punched out 17 in a complete game effort. She's going to get Mercy Owale, Marguela White, and Daveney Garcia to start things off here this evening. Panthers in a purplish shirt with dark pants as the first pitch is on the outside corner, strike one. Owale playing shortstop tonight. The 0 1 pitch. Kind of a drag bunt or a slash attempt there. Not quite able to keep it fair. Makes it 0-2. Ahead in the count, 0-2, 17 strikeouts last time. Here it is. That's in there. A strikeout looking on the outside corner low and away part of the plate there. And Owale is set down on three pitches. It's going to bring in Marguela White, playing left tonight. First pitch to the righty, waved at and missed inside corner. Rocking and firing on 0-1. That one catches the high inside corner, elevating with the hard stuff there, and now it's 0-2. Sign is delivered, grip is there, now the 0-2. Swung on a miss, strike three, and make it back-to-back -back strikeouts to start things off tonight for Oliver. It's going to bring in Daveney Garcia now, the catcher in tonight's contest, hitting in the three hole for the Panthers. First pitch to her, finds the inside corner as well, 0 and 1. Oh, one is hit hard the other way, right field. Now backing up, and it's over her head. That one's going to be extra bases. Taking the turn at first, heading for second base. Throw comes in quickly, so she'll have to stop there. But Davey Garcia starts a little two-out rally here with one over the head in right field of Jordan Lang. So with two down... Runner on second base. That'll bring in the cleanup hitter, Diana, Diana excuse me, Garcia, center fielder in tonight's contest. Hitting from the left side. First pitch, big cut at a high fastball. Oh, one pitch, hit on line again to right. This one's kind of shallow. It'll get over the head of Azua and into right field. Throw coming to home plate. It's high, and there's a slide anyway. The first run of the game belongs to North Crowley, and the tag is not able to stay in the glove, taking second base on the throw. Smart base running there by Diana Garcia, who has a single, takes a base on the throw, drives in an RBI for the number five hitter, Mercedes Martinez. And very quickly here, the Crowley offense, ha uh, North Crowley offense, excuse me, has struck. Runner on second, two down. One run is in, in the top of the first inning. Here's the pitch. That one's down Broadway, strike one.
Now the 0-1 upstairs. Nearly got away, but a quick jump out of the crouch there from Ashley Gardner. 1-1. One one. That one's in there at the chest. 1-2 and two now. One two pitch. That's a little low, maybe inside as well. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two out, runner on second. That's in there, strike three. And all three go down by way of the K in the first inning. However, a run does come in to score. One to nothing, North Crowley on top after half an inning.
and the one two just inside. Count even at twos. Two two pitch. That's hit high in the air behind second base and out of the reach. Drops in for what may be scored a base hit, potentially not able to track it down, Christy Zavala. And it's a leadoff base runner for the Buffaloes. Runners going, throw down to second, will be there almost in time, but just out of the glove of the shortstop there. It'll be a stolen base for Erica Zua. As Mercy Owale could not get a handle on it. Puts a runner in scoring position. Now the 1-0. That misses as well. One and one, actually, excuse me, the first pitch was called a strike. That's in the dirt, big secondary off of second base, but ultimately retreating. Now two balls and one strike. That's in the dirt. Another big secondary lead at second base, but not going anywhere is Azua. Three and one the count now. And that missed, ball four. Couple of base runners here to start things off for the Buffaloes. First pitch is on the black to Lindsey Oliver. All in one. Oliver batting in the three spot today, as well as pitching. Very important spot in the lineup day to day. Counts even at one and one after that one misses high. That's hit back up the middle, second base. Only plays to first, and will it be in time? No, an infield single. And we got a little bit of rain starting to come down. So they are loaded up with nobody out for the number four hitter. Trinity Cortez, the left fielder. <laughs> Off of third, it's Azua. On second, it's Mendiola. On first base, it's Oliver. Trinity Cortez at home plate. Looks at a breaking pitch on the outside corner, 0-1. Now the 0-1, another breaking ball outside corner. Frozen twice is Cortez, but you gotta think she adjusts if she sees a third one in a row here. Wonder if we see maybe a high fastball, something like that. That's upstairs, laid off. Runners had taken a little bit of a start, but ultimately staying put.
Goes after one above the zone and lands it in center field. A shallow line drive. One run is in. That's Azua. Mendiola is in as well. Big turn at third base, but ultimately not scoring. Is the courtesy runner for tonight's pitcher, Kylie Martinez. A two-run single. Pitch inside and a snap throw attempt or uh, bait perhaps down to third base, but nothing comes of it. One and zero to the first baseman Rachel Harris. Now two and zero after one skips. Hitters count for Harris against Fabiola Valencia. Here it is. That skips to home plate as well. Base is open at first if Valencia would rather face the number six hitter, Bree Hernandez. We'll see if the green light is on here, three now. It is not that one just able to get the knees, probably not one you want to offer at anyway with a advantage count. That'll make it three and one. Three one pitch, inside ball four down to first base, second walk of the inning as Rachel Harris makes it five straight aboard. Hernandez at short. As the last four of the lineup may well get their chance here in the very first inning as well. First pitch in there to Hernandez on one. That breaking ball has looked good, gotten strikes with it. Here's the 0-1. That one not quite on top of it. Ended up running a little bit up and outside. One and one. Here's the one one. Just a touch high. Two and one, now the count. Popped straight up in the air behind home plate. No play, actually, as it carries over between first and home. Neither Dave Ne Garcia nor Mercedes Martinez able to make the play. And it's three and two now, as that one misses. Three, two, popped straight up, and that'll land just to our right over here in the bleachers. Count is full, bases loaded. Bree Hernandez at the dish. Fabiola Valencia looking to get out of the inning, still searching for the first out. Here it is, 3-2. That's fouled straight back, not missed by much. Good job working the count here. Readying for the payoff pitch again. Here it is, three and two. That one's hitting the air behind second base, having another look camped out underneath it and putting it away is Christy Zavala. 
to get the first out, but heads up base running from third base as another run comes in to score. That'll make it three to one on the sack fly. So now it's runners at first and second with Ashley Gardner at the plate catching tonight. She looks at one on the inside corner, strike one. Now the 0 one, that's high, faking a snap throw down to second. It was Dave Garcia, but ultimately decided to hang on to it. The count is one and one. Just missed there, make it two and one now. Leslie Martinez waiting on deck. Two one. That's right down Broadway. Looped a breaking ball in there. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Three in, one out, two on. In the dirt, gets away. Both runners will advance without a throw. Dave Garcia got in front of it, but ultimately just scored it underneath her. It's tough back there being a catcher. Count fills again. Hit back up the middle through the box and that'll be a ringing base hit. Waving around from second base coming in to score without a throw is Trinity Cortez as they both score. Rachel Harris as well. Two more RBIs this time for Ashley Gardner as she makes it five to nothing. Uh, five to one, excuse me. That'll bring in the eighth batter to come to home plate in Leslie Martinez, who looks at one in the dirt for a ball, 1-0. Martinez playing center tonight. Waiting on deck, Jordan Lang. Were she to get in that bat, that would mean all nine came to the plate. That bounces, snap throw back to first, but back without too much effort is Gardner. If you're just tuning in, five to one is our score. Haltem on top of North Crowley. We're still in the first, 2-0. That got away to the other batter's box, maybe almost designed for a snap throw there. Another hitter's count here, three and O. Oh. It's been tough sledding so far for Fabiola Valencia as she throws one just a little too high, ball four. Moves Gardner up to second base. Martinez is on with a walk. And the only Buffalo to make it out this inning was Bree Hernandez and her doing so brought in a run. Jordan Lang now playing right field. And here comes a conference in the circle. With two runners on and only one out with five in. Gotta imagine there's some words of encouragement coming from coach right now. Obviously think this is gonna be Valencia's game for a while yet. She has plenty of time to bear down here. 
So after that brief delay, Jordan Lang will stride in. Look at a breaking ball that I believe was a strike. Yes, scoreboard confirms it, confirms it for me. Just about belt high. Middle part of the plate, more towards the outer half. That one on the inside half, maybe even the inside corner, 0-2. Oh After Lang, it would be Azua, who started this with a single. Lays off one up high. Out of the crouch very quickly there was Dave Nee Garcia. 1-2 now. That one skips, gets away. Both runners going to advance again. That takes out the force at any bag scenario. Count even at twos. Two-two. That's lofted the other way. Down past the first base coach's box, and I believe unplayable over there in super shallow right as it dropped. Two two with one down. Here it is. Cut on and miss. Strike three. Hustle in the first base after the drop pitch. It gets away. One run's gonna score for sure. We'll see about another. No. Stopping at third base. That's a strikeout. And an E2. First strikeout in the game for Valencia. Rolls the lineup back over for Erica Azua, who started the inning out with a single. So now it is Martinez on third base. As that one's chopped to shortstop through the legs, that's going to get another run home. And the throw comes to third. That gets away but hits the backstop, so no further advance. So an E6 for Azua, moving one runner up to third base and bringing in another. And she actually takes second on the throw as well as that one's in the dirt to Leticia Mendiola, who walked her first time. That's high. The breaking ball has been the best pitch so far for Valencia, but uh, right there, just a little too high. Makes the count 2-0. Make it 3-0 now as that one misses. Three and nothing is our count. Seven to one our score. Seven in so far with two more on. That one's in the dirt, laid off. Back-to-back -back walks for Mendiola in the first. That'll juice him back up again for Lindsey Oliver. Oliver, her first time singled, came all the way around to score, well, a courtesy runner in her stead came in to score. First pitch is inside. 1 0. One oh is hit hard to third. No, actually shortstop stepping on the bag for one, having a look at first, but no real chance to make the throw. Smart heads up play by Mercy. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mercy Owale. And another run does come in to score, so at the least it's a productive force out. Six to five, or six unassisted rather. Brings in another run. Mendiola up to second. Azua was out at third. Brings in Trinity Cortez, had a single for two RBIs, her first trip in this inning. First pitch gets away, both runners gonna move up. 
on the 1 0 count. After Cortez, it would be Rachel Harris who walked, came around. Now the 1 0. That's hit high in the air, right center field frozen, and now backing up, putting it away to end the inning is Arion Herrera. Eight runs come across for the Halton Buffaloes, but ultimately a flyout ends the inning. A flyout to right, to be exact. Eight to one, that's our score through one full here from Buffalo Ridge Park. You're watching Halton Buffalo Softball on Vipe Live. Leading things off here in the top half of the second inning, it's going to be Fabiola Valencia. While things did not go her team's way in that last half inning. She has a chance here to help her own cause, as it were. Valencia, followed by Ana Sofia Moreno and Aryun Herrera. First pitch in on the hands, a little bit late. Pretty much straight back. It's 0 and 1. And a brief pause. And apparently. That hitter. So, hit by pitch to start the inning off. That is one way to start an inning as her courtesy runner comes on. And I do not have a number eight on my roster, but it came over the PA that it's Alexandra Acosta. Listed as number 19 on my roster, but uh, that brings in Ana Sofia Moreno. She's playing third base, digs in from the right side. Looks at a heater, first pitch, and big throw down to second, skip, and a tag. A real nice throw there from Ashley Gardner, fielded solidly by Erica Azua. And just like that, that leadoff runner is caught stealing. Big cut and a miss at a high fastball, 0-2. And, and we have seen Lindsey Oliver be very effective with that high fastball. Moves quickly, batters don't have too much time to react. 0-2, that's right there, strike three. Make it four now in the ball game for Oliver. Two gone.
Aryan Herrera is in now, the right fielder who made the play to end that bottom half of the first, and the first itself, to be fair. Big cut at one on the inside part of the plate. But she's behind it, 0-1. That one's low. Fastball, kind of a worm burner. It's one and one. That one low inside corner, real tough pitch to hit. Probably a called strike anyway. And she can't get to it, it's one and two. And that one maybe a little low or maybe a little inside. Either way, it's two and two. Sticking with the straight stuff so far. Break even pitch, here it is. Cut on a miss, strike three. And just like that, it turns into a one, two, three inning of sorts. Three more up and three more down, five strikeouts. So far for Lindsey Oliver as we head to the home half of the second inning. You're watching Halton Buffalo's softball on Vipe Live. Second inning now, home half, so the last of the second inning, so to speak. Dan Byford with you on Vipe, bringing you Halton Buffalo's softball. Right now, 8-1 to one, Halton on top of the North Crowley Panthers. And a good part of the order coming up, 5-6-7, Rachel Harris, Bree Hernandez, Ashley Gardner. Just after Halton sent 13 to home plate in the first and came away with eight runs. First pitch is a ball to Harris, who worked a walk her first time. That one's high. It was a good start for the Buffaloes, but surely looking to add to it here. Here's the 2-0. Looper just a little bit high. Certainly in a location that you would see batters take a swing at. Here's the 3-0. That's way high and outside, ball four. Making two walks for Harris now. So another leadoff base runner. This time it's going to be Bree Hernandez, also without an official at bat, as Rachel Harris stands on first base. Hernandez did not walk, but actually was that first out of the first inning. Sack flied to the second baseman. Big cut and a miss at a pitch in the dirt. It's 0-1. But even though it was only to second base, some aggressive base running paid off. It was a good play just to get there by Christy Zavala. That one's out. 
Snap throw down to first, gets away. That's going all the way up to right field. We'll see if it's two bases. Big turn at second. And indeed, it does look like it's going to be two bases without much suspense. I believe it is 2-1 and one now. Scoreboard does say 2-0, and oh, but I believe there was a swinging strike to start the at-bat off. As heads up base running by Harris, gets her up to third. That's high and inside. And now it's two and one. I stand corrected. Three, uh, two one is fisted out to shortstop, not able to make the play as it's in the left field. And that was a pretty wicked hop as the throw gets away up to second is Hernandez. We'll see how that one scored, or maybe we won't, as now she's going to third and we'll get there without a slide as the throw is cut off by Fabiola Valencia. It's a 9-1 uh, game now, but uh, I would be leaning in the category of giving her a hit on that one. That hit was borderline unfieldable. It's really hard to blame Mercy Owale over there at short. Whatever you consider to be a charity hop, for those of you who have played baseball or softball, that was the opposite of it. 0-1 on the inside corner here. A nice pitch to Ashley Gardner, who singled, advanced on a wild pitch, or pass ball, as that one is grounded right into the glove. Nice stab, and the throw back to home is not in time. A great play by Fabiola Valencia, as she was able to get the 1-3 out, and then very nearly some heads up uh, you know, alert to the base running there from the first base in Mercedes Martinez. Nearly cut down the runner at home plate. Instead, it's an RBI ground out for Ashley Gard Gardner, and that's going to bring in Leslie Martinez, who walked her last time. 10-1, to 1, that's our score now in the bottom half of the second inning. Buffalo's offense erupted in the bottom half of the first. Waved at a breaking ball inside. It's one and one. Swung on and missed, maybe foul tipped. Either way, there were there was only the one strike. But now there are two. A little bit of hitting advice from coach down first base. Now here's the one two. Foul tipped into the mitt. Got her on a breaking ball. That's the second K of the game for Mendiola. Uh, excuse me. For Fabiola Valencia. However, the first one was not an out. Jordan Lang in, hitting in the nine spot. Takes one in. Lang, her first time, was that first strikeout victim, but reached first base anyway, almost came around to score, was ultimately halted at third base. That's in there, inside corner, one and one. One ball, one strike, couple of runs in, and two gone as that one is cut on and missed. Breaking ball in the dirt. We uh, would compare that one to a back foot slider, so to speak. It just kind of broke in towards the hitter and didn't stop. Went for the ankles. One ball, two strikes, two out. That's a high waist pitch laid off. Good discipline there despite the need to protect. 2-2. Two -two. That's low, laid off it after getting a couple of looks. Count will fill. And a great job out of the nine hole, working this count all the way to three and two. Ready with a full count. And that one's just a little bit above the letters, ball four. Down to first base for the second time is Jordan Lang. As she works a two out walk. Brings in Erica Azua, 
who singled her first time in the first inning, her second time in the first inning. She hit a, uh, well, she put the ball in play. Uh, ultimately, it was an error over at shortstop by Mercio Wale. As that one's high and out, ball one. Got this Buffalo's lineup started off right as she pops one high in the air and behind the netting into the bleachers. I think someone got a hand on it. Ultimately, not caught in the air. A spectator, to be clear. Counts even at one and one with two down. Pitch. That is in the dirt. Throw down to second is a little up the line towards first base. And as a result, despite an excellent effort by Mercy Owale to give the uh, walk by tag there, just not able to slap it on the back. I think that goes as a stolen base as that one is grounded up the third base line, not played over there and foul. So it stays two and two to the number one hitter, the leadoff hitter, if you will, with two in and two out. Runner on second base in the second half of the second inning. As they say, deuces are wild. Here it is, laid off. Count will fill. That one bounced to home plate. And now a 3-2 pitch. That bounces as well. Ball four taking third as well is Lang. So it's a walk. Make Azua one for two as she was before. Because, of course, walks are plate appearances, not at bats. Brings in Leticia Mendiola. She's walked twice. No at bats for her in this one. 0 for 0. With two on and a chance to add to the damage here. Swings at one in the dirt. Azua was going on the pitch and could have taken the bag standing. In fact, she kind of did. She stopped on the swing. Not sure if that was a designed hit and run that just didn't pan out or something like that. Uh, but, you know, showing off the speed. Now the 0-1. That's in there. Managed to get the top half of the zone on a breaking ball, 0-2. O2 is grounded out to shortstop. Owale is not able to get a clean grip on it. That'll bring in another run to score. As Azua is up to third base, Lang comes in. And that'll bring in the pitcher, Lindsey Oliver, who had an RBI on a 6-5 ground out her last time. It's 11 to one. Hits one the other way through the wickets and into right field. That'll bring in one more. And that's a quick throw back in. Actually, it hits off of Oliver, uh, but no further advance from third base. And putting the ball in play plays off, uh, pays off, excuse me, as that makes it 12 to one. Just underneath there, Mercedes Martinez on the first pitch swing. Pretty good charge into that ball. Brings in Trinity Cortez for her third trip as she hits one in the air over the third base line uh, bag, excuse me, and it lands right in front of the left fielder out there. Marguela White, who gets it back in quickly, but not before a 13th run can score. Make it two singles now and three RBIs for Cortez. She's two for three. And to start things off in this one, it was actually the North Crowley side striking first with a quick run in the top of the first, but 
as that one nearly gets away. We'll see if the throw will be able to get. No, not in time. Quick running there from second base. one -oh. That's hit back up the middle, just under the glove. Hard line drive through the box. That's going to bring home one. We'll see about two. Throw gets away. The cutoff is made, but not in time to home plate. 15-1. to one. Halt them on top as two more come in off the bat of Rachel Harris. She'd walked twice before that, so she's been on base all day. Fifteen to one, that's our score now as an eight run inning has been followed up with seven and there's still a runner on second base. That's in the dirt and good block there behind home plate. Daveney Garcia was able to keep in front of that one. Now one oh. That's hit in the air, first baseline, and into the dugout, not in play. One and one the count. So Bree Hernandez back. It's another batting around inning. That just missed the outside corner, breaking ball. Two and one. Two one. That's there. Heart of the plate and chest high. Two and two. And that is a pitch that she's been able to freeze some batters with tonight. We'll see if Valencia doubles down here. 2-2. Two -two. That's rolled softly out to third base. The throw is not in time. A little bit of an arc coming over from Ana Sofia Moreno. And despite a solid stretch over at first by Mercedes Martinez, the inning will continue. I think that ought to be an infield single. So it's Harris on third, Bree Hernandez at first base. And Ashley Gardner striding to the plate. Gardner already had two RBIs her first trip on a single. That skips to home plate. Throw will not come to second. I believe we call that one a defensive indifference, although the middle infielders were moving to cover it, so I think you give her the stolen base there. Not sure why I said that, to be honest. 1-0, that's the count. As that one just a little too late on it, hits it over the third base bleachers. 1-1. One one. Gardner also grounded to the pitcher. That one is back toward the pitcher in the hole at second base, but not able to get the glove down. And that'll bring in a couple more of them. Throw comes to second base, and it's not in time. 17 to one, Haltem is on top. And that's another difficult one to score as almost able to get to it was Christy Zavala, but just Ultimately snuck through. Two more runs come in. And here's another visit to the circle with Leslie Martinez due.
And uh, we call the inning there on a technicality caught by the base umpire. I believe the base runner went back to the wrong bag by accident. And as a result, after setting up back on second base, was called out. So, how do you follow up an eight-run inning? You follow it up with nine runs. That's it. 17 to one. Halton Buffalo's on top through two full. We'll head to the top of the third inning after a quick break. You're watching Halton Buffalo Softball on Vipe Live. We are back. We are back for the third inning of play after just two. It's 17 1. Haltom is on top of North Crowley. North Crowley with a chance to change it and draw a little closer. Christy Zavala is going to be in now. Second baseman will get her first look of the evening. Looks at Cheese on the inside corner, and at the knees, strike one. That one is cut on and missed. Inside corner again, make it 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch, that's in there, strike three, down looking. Make it six strikeouts now for Lindsey Oliver and three in a row. Lineup's gonna roll back over now as Mercy Owale will get another look. She went down looking her first time. Squares and that one's foul. Attempting a drag bunt there. Did not work out on the first attempt. We'll see if she goes for it on the second pitch of the at-bat or maybe later on if there's not another strike thrown right away. 0-1, does square again, but I believe she pulled back according to the home plate umpire. It's one and one. One one pitch, does square again. This time she does not pull it back. That'll make it one and two. Number two hitter, Marguela White, waits on deck. And down on strikes, trying to bunt it. On one and two, not able to make contact. She becomes the seventh strikeout victim at the hands of Lindsay Oliver and make it four in a row now. So the left fielder, Marguela White, who made a solid throw to get the ball back in in the bottom half of the second, keep a couple of runners where they were. Fouls one straight back. Looks like she has the fastball timed okay. 0-1. Oh White also went down on strikes her first time. as that gets away. Oh, 
That one just missed that low inside corner where we have seen Oliver try to live in this one. It's two and one. And the last time Vipe had the Buffaloes on as the two one is on the inside corner, two and two. It was a 17 strikeout performance in the victory for Lindsay Oliver. 2-2. Two, two. Cut on a miss, strike three, and now that's going to make it five in a row and eight on the game. Three up, three down in the top of the third, and that's going to wrap this game up with the cushion being a whole 16 runs. Teams are going to give their good games. It was a quick start to the game when we saw the North Crowley Panthers open up the scoring almost immediately, making it one nothing in the first. And then the Halton Buffaloes just responded in turn with an eight run inning followed up by a nine run inning. Everybody was putting the ball in play. And as a result, when you're putting the ball in play, you get rewarded. You got to test the defense and test the defense today. They did. Hard to single out any one player that played the best in this game. After all, it was so brief. But there was a good chunk of hitters on the Haltom side that made three trips to the plate. Taking a look at the scorebook here. There's a couple of names definitely worth mentioning. You got Bree Hernandez, had a couple of RBIs, sacrifice fly to second base, a 1-3 ground out sacrifice, a stolen base after a single coming all the way around to score. Ashley Gardner, though, catching tonight, is probably one who stands out the most. She had four total RBIs, two singles. Excuse me, I believe she had five RBIs, including a sacrifice ground out, 1-3 and two singles to go along with it. Just hit the ball well, saw it well, and ultimately, Haltom comes out on top by a significant advantage. So we're done a little bit earlier than expected here on Vipe Live, and I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to tonight's game. Hope everybody has a great night, and thank you for watching Haltom Buffalo softball on Vipe Live. I'm Dan Byford. Have a great night.